Hi there, I hope all is well and welcome to the practice session number four of Model Verbs. Again guys, here we are at quiz number four. Uh, we have 10 statements as a total, uh, a number of questions. And we have the total score is out of 20 and uh, the passing rate or the passing score is 10 points. And we should not exceed the time limit, which is five minutes only. If you are ready guys, let's move ahead. Now the statement number one, guys, we, your attention here, we have to fill in the gaps with the uh, suggested uh, model verbs. We have here needn't have, shouldn't, didn't need to, could, must, should, might, and then cans. Statement number one, he bought a farm cheaply and sold it later at a higher price. He, then we have a gap, have made a lot of money. What do you think is the right and the correct uh, model verb here? Very good. Must. We're talking here about deduction again. There are some data, some signs that leads to a certain, yeah, that lead us or push us to, you know, believe or to conclude that, you know, this uh, fact exists. Right? Very good. Yeah. He must have. Okay. Let's move ahead right now to number two. Your business trip cost the company a fortune you and then you have a gap have stayed in a five-star hotel what do you think is the right model to complete the statement excellent job we see here shouldn't right shouldn't very good okay you shouldn't have stayed in a five-star hotel i'm just um as a boss or i'm or as a company manager i'm blaming uh you know the employee i'm uh you know right uh, this is some kind of reproach right very good okay let's move to number three i went to the airport to meet a friend of mine unfortunately he didn't turn up he didn't show up right because he had to to cancel his flight all right so I, and then you have a gap, have uh, driven all that way. I just wasted time. So what do you think is the correct model verb here? Very good, great. I needn't, great. I didn't drive all, I uh, have driven all that way, great. <laughs> okay, for, for nothing, great. For no uh, purpose, great. Okay, and no result, right? Very good. Number four, guys, my friend, then we have a gap, have been very busy. Otherwise, he could have telephoned me. So what do you think is the right model verb here, guys? Excellent job, guys. We say he must, right? My friend must have him busy, right? Otherwise, he would call me, right? He would phone me, right? Okay, number five, guys, I made a big mistake. I, then we have a gap, have signed the contract without consulting a lawyer. Number five. Again, I'm blaming myself. It's some sort of regret. So we say, very good. We say, I shouldn't have signed the contracts. Right? I regret. If only I hadn't signed the, the contracts. Very good. And number six, guys. That was a lovely meal. But you, then you have a gap have gone uh, to uh, have gone to so much trouble or have gone into so much trouble said um, or say the guest to her hotel, hostess so what do you think guys is a correct model verb for this statement here very good right we have your needn't good job right and it's also possible here to say guys shouldn't right but you needn't have gone to so much trouble or you shouldn't if i'm if i want to try to blame you know the person right i can use this uh expression too very good right number seven guys mr simpson uh wasn't uh at the company's monthly meeting he then we have a gap have been delayed in traffic so what do you think is a correct model here yeah, good. We are expressing here some sort to a certain degree of probability. We see he might, right? A lower probability. It's probable. It's likely that, right, uh, he have uh, been delayed, right, let's see, in traffic. Okay, good. Let's, uh, your attention, we have less than uh, 50 seconds, right? I was about to go shopping when my father arrived at home. 
with all the vegetables we needed. So I yeah, go after all. So what do you think is the correct mod verb, guys? Yes, good job, great. I didn't need to, great. I didn't need to go after all, great. Because my father has got everything we need. All right, let's move on to number nine, guys. You, and then you have a gap, have heard the phone ring in my house. I haven't gone, I haven't got one. So what do you think is a, a correct relative here? Very good, great, we see here, I can't, great, okay, we see you can't, great, rather, very good, yes. Okay, number 10, guys, you, and then you have a gap, have helped ma your mother. I see you, uh, I see no reason why you didn't, Mr. Jackson said to his daughter. What do you think is the right model verb here? Good job, great, here we say, good, great, very good, great, okay, that's very nice, guys, you've done a good job, we were about to exceed the time limit again, great, thank you very much, I hope that you have learned a lot from this session, and see you, in, uh, inshallah, great, in another practice session soon, all the best, and goodbye.